right, wash my hands. Ah, forgot to turn on the water pump. How many times have you guys had to do that? Or you go into your toilet, getting ready to uh, do your business, and you go to flush and realize that the water pump's off. Solve this problem quickly. My camper, you've only got the water pump here, which is by the entry door. This is a uh, class A motorhome, and the bathroom is all the way on the other side. So I'm like, well, sure, it would be nice to have another switch over there. Uh, so that's what I did, basically. Um, I ordered on Amazon. I'll show a little picture up here of what I ordered. Little kit, I forgot how much it was. I think 18 bucks or something like that. This is the antenna for it. It's a little black box, 12 volt relay, basically wireless. So what I did is I took the wireless control that it comes with, was just this little button. And I just kind of zip tied it here for now. This is just a, like a bread tie or something to hold it here. Okay, so if you get up in the middle of the night, come into the bathroom, you don't want to have to walk all the way over there every time you turn it on and off, you've got this button. So what this does is basically bypasses that switch to be able to turn it on. Uh, so you go ahead and just push the button once and the pump's on. Do your business, wash your hands, flush your toilet, do whatever you got to do. As you can see, the green light is on even though the switch is off. Okay, so you want to shut it off, push the button again, and it's off. So this, this switch still functions as normal. So if you're in here doing dishes or working in the kitchen, you can walk over and use your water that way like you're typically used to. But unfortunately, more times than not that you need water is because you're taking a shower, washing your hands, or using the sink or the toilet. And that's why I thought it'd be a great idea to have this. I was going to mount it to the wall, but I figured uh, I'm not sure exactly where the best spot is for it at this point. So I think I'm just going to let it kind of chill out right here. So far, so good. Um, I think the biggest thing is if you forget to use it and you're on the toilet, the last thing you want to do is, you know, limp your way over to the water pump over there to flush or whatever you need to do. So I wanted it to be within arm's reach of the toilet. And I didn't want it to be too far from if you're here. You know, if you're standing at the sink or the shower, you're already standing up. There's no reason you can't reach back here and push that button. So uh, very easy wiring. There's five wires. There's actually four wires that you connect. Uh, there's two black wires, which are the grounds. You can just put those together. All I did is take this panel out. And this switch basically just has a wire coming in and a wire going out. One of the wires is power. And the other wire is going to the pump to activate it. So... What you do, the, out of the four wires on this box, you take the two blacks, put them together, and then you uh, just connect to any ground behind here. There's gonna be a bunch of wires in here for all this stuff. Uh, in campers, white is usually ground. Um, so just make sure you, you got a ground wire. Um, easily, you can test just by uh, having a, um, a voltmeter or whatever that will check for continuity. You can touch one end and then touch you know, some metal part of the camper, and you know the faucet or whatever. Um, to make sure that that's a ground, but you, you do your grounds together and that leaves you um, two other wires. There's, I believe it was a green and a red. The red wire uh, is power, so that's going to connect to the, the, um, the power side of this switch, basically the always on power. And then the green wire is the switched wire. You connect that to the other side, the other wire, which is the when you turn the switch on, it makes the connection. So sorry if that's confusing. It's pretty basic wiring. I'm sure you can figure it out. This uh, blue wire is the antenna. So I just kind of had that coming out of the bottom of this little panel here. And I just ran it along like that. It has no problem picking it up from over there. It's only, you know, 15 feet away. I don't know how far it works. I think it's like 50 feet. Certainly fine for inside the camper. So, so this is just kind of hidden. If you were worried about looks, you could stick a little piece of white tape to hide this and It'd just be kind of disappearing in here, you know, no big deal. But yeah, uh, 
great thing to do. Um, and if you have any questions about will it short out if you have this switch on, you can have this switch on and use it normally like you would. And if somebody automatically hits this, no big deal. It's not going to hurt anything. It's already on. So it's still on. The only thing is, is when you do go to shut this off, now it's going to stay on because this is triggered in on mode. So you just got to hit it again and then it's off. The only addition that would make this any better, in my opinion, is if I had this light. I had a way to have that light also in here just because, you know, you push the button. Sometimes you wonder if it actually shut off or not, but you can always just test it. Uh, you know, usually when you turn it on, you can hear it because you push the button and it starts pumping instantly because, uh, you know, it has to build up a little bit of pressure. So you know that it turns on. And the best way to do it, what I find I, I do is um, after it's on, usually I just shut it right off and then go ahead and like flush the toilet or whatever, because then typically it's built up pressure. Only a little bit of water is going to come out. Usually all you need for what you're doing. So like here, okay, the pump's on right now. Let me, let me give you an example. Let me shut it off. Now say this was the toilet flushing. You'll see that you still have some water and then it just kind of dies out to nothing. So usually that's enough. And then at that point, you know that you're verifying that it's off, which is another, another, uh, a little trick. So yeah, anybody, uh, who has a camper, this would work in pretty much anything. Very simple. I didn't have to run any wires. Didn't have to do anything crazy. All I had to do was take these four screws out, pull this off. All the wiring that I needed to connect to was all right behind this panel, right where the switch is. Literally 10, 15 minute job. I just took the little box and just slid it in behind this wall so you can't see it. Put the panel back on, have this little wire hanging out. And all you'll have to worry about is every once in a while, I'm sure there's a little battery in here, probably every six months or a year or whatever, depending on how much you use it. I'm sure there's a little battery in here that you got to replace. Um, but luckily there's a little red light. So each time you, you can hear the pump running and then it shut off. Every time you push the button, the blue light comes on. So you'll know that it's dying or not dying. So hopefully this helps somebody out. Um, doing a lot of little things like that. Uh, this little desk setup that I made, this folds right up out of the way. I don't know if I showed this on camera yet, um, but it was nice to have to be able to make this area basically like an office. That has a slide out uh, computer tray in the front. So if you're like driving and your passenger wants to be in a laptop, that's great. Um, but by flipping this, you know, flipping the seat around to this way and having this desk right here, it basically gives me a really nice workstation. Again, that folds right up out of the way. This whole setup, this uh, screen will fold right up against the window. And then this this whole desk folds up and swings up here. And it doesn't stick out any more than this uh, bend point right here, straight up and down, just like six inches off the wall. And then that area is wide open. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully this helps somebody out and uh, somebody can uh, feel free to use this little trick. Short money and uh, definitely a convenience, especially if you're... Uh, boondocking a living for any length of time in a camper it's nice to be able to turn that water pump on when you need it as you need it all right guys have a good one